Now let's try 36. 1 and itself are always factors of a number, so we will put a 1 as our first factor of 36. And we have to put 36 here at the end. That's the first layer of our onion. Then, since 2 times 18 is equal to 36, we can put 2 and we can put 18. 36 is an even number, so we're not surprised that 2 is one of its factors. Then we tried 3. 3 times 12 is equal to 36. So 3 is one of the factors of 36. And so is 12. Let's try 4. 4 works because 4 times 9 is equal to 36. So we put in our 4 and we put in our 9. Is 5 a factor of 36? No, because 5 times 7 is 35 and 5 times 8 is 40. We've skipped over 36. 5 is not a factor. How about 6? Yes, 6 is a factor of 36 because 6 times 6 is 36. And that creates an interesting little difference because we don't want to put the 6 in twice. We only need to list it once. So in case you were thinking there are always an even number of factors for a number, it's not always true. 12 had 6 factors and 40 had 8, but 36 has 9 factors. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. That's a big number with a lot of factors. Let's try a small number, like 5. Well, 1 in itself have to be factors of a number, so we have to put our 1, and we have to put our 5. That's the outermost layer of our onion. But when we try 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 3 is 6, we've skipped over 5, so 2 is not a factor of 5. Let's try 3. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6. We've skipped over 5 again. 3 is not a factor of 5. All that's left to try is 4. 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. We skipped over 5, so 4 is not a factor of 5 either. 5 only has 1 and 5 as factors. That means 5 is a prime number. I'll move this 5 over here so that I can see my list of numbers a little better. This is how you list the factors of a number.